Welcome to Kerbal Space Program Review. My name is Alex, and today I'm going to be going over a program that is kind of more, it's, it's a game program. It can be used in um, many different scenarios. So what this program is basically, it lets you build spaceships or um, space planes that let you then um, go up into space and you can go to um, different planets like the moon, Mars, um, there's also more planets you can go to. I don't, I don't really have the exact full list, but it's really fun. It can take time though, so I'm not going to be doing a full review of everything because that would take a long time. I'm just going to be showing you guys the basics of it and um, yeah, it's really cool. Okay, so I'm going to do start game. We're going to go to start new. We'll just name that. No, let's name that. Okay, um, we're going to do sandbox so I can just show you guys how to build things because career means that you go in and then like it costs you to get things. You have to like build small spaceships, go to certain places. And once you get there, you get like achievements, not achievements, but like more money to buy more things. Um, and then also levels and just a lot of cool things. I'm not going to be showing you guys the space plane. I'm just going to be showing you guys the vehicle assembly building which is the rocket ship area. So, what we do is we're first going to want to pick a um, pod, or um, command, whatever you want to call it, but the cockpit, basically, of where we're going to be playing. So, I'm going to go with the that one, because I like to use this one. So, I'm going to um, left-click it, and you can move it around, and left-click to place back. Right-click doesn't do too much at the moment. It does, actually, I think, uh, in a bit here. Let's grab this. Uh, now, let me grab something that is rotatable okay yeah see um, so E lets you rotate it into different um, rays like that um, Q also does the same thing just uh, opposite directions W goes up and down W, A, S, and D can basically move it around including Q and E basically lets it you move it around in many different areas okay so let's first get started with propulsion so propulsion is basically going to throw it basically going to launch us up into space so what we're going to do here is I'm going to grab a big thing. I'm going to scroll out here. Uh, hold shift and then scroll wheel to scroll in and out to zoom out. So I'm going to zoom out here and put that higher up. Okay. So also if you want to move the whole spaceship, you can just grab the pod and that's basically like the center point of the spaceship, even though it's not. That's just the center. Uh, so like, let's say I grab this. I can then move what's below it. And same thing here. So I can like move certain sections, which is cool. Okay, so once we have propulsion, um, there's also like adapters and many different things. You guys should screw around with it. It's a lot of fun. Um, I will have the link to where you can get it in the description. So now let's get some of these uh, radius liquid mounts. Now I want to put one here. I want to put one on all four sides. So what we're going to do is first go here to angle snap and set it to um, uh, the octagon. Uh, the octagon thing. Uh, actually, I think a hexagon. Um, then I'm going to go to, so, okay. So this means that just one will appear. This means that two will appear. So if I put there, you can see it's on the opposite side. That means three. That means four, and then uh, so on and so forth. So I want four of these. So let's put four here. Okay. So now, as you can see, we have this is the main rocket, and then the four smaller propulsions. So what I want to do is I want to have it that we first ignite the small rockets and then we can take off afterwards. So let's uh, do this and put this guy here. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. I grab four and put those there. So first we will activate this, then we'll activate that. Next, these are um, controls, uh, SAS, so basically, it's basically autopilot for your thing, I'm not going to put that in, because that's, uh, will take a while to explain. Um, so no, these are detachments, so let's say I want to go here, and have this there, and then grab, let's go back to propulsion, and grab some smaller tanks, let's say I want to have some smaller tanks there, okay? Now with that, we're going to put on these guys on all four tanks. So, now what I want to do is I want this, First, I want to have it that these four launch. Next, I want to have it that these are going to detach. And then these four are going to launch afterwards. We don't know. Let's change this up a bit. Let's have it that those will launch last and have the big one 
launch. Come on, there. We can actually get rid of that one. Okay. Whoa, what did I do here? Whoops. No, can we do any one more? Okay. And then have the detachers on there. Okay. So basically what it's going to do is it's going to fire the bottom rockets first, which I screwed up. Shit. Yoink. And then... Okay, so what it's going to do, it's going to launch the bottom rockets first. Oh my god, you son of a... Just... There, okay. So it's going to launch the bottom rockets first, these ones. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to detach off these things so we have less weight. Then we're going to fire the four smaller ones to continue taking us up. And then once these are done, we're going to fire off the big one. That, so we can basically cruise around. So you know what we can do? Let's switch that around. So we'll have it that the big one fires ones we're not feel we use the small ones to get around. Okay. Now what we're going to want to do is let's go to structure. No, let's go to aerodynamics and let's get ourselves. We can put a nice nose on it if we wanted to. I need a bigger one. Like that for aerodynamics. But I don't want that because what I want is utility. Because I want the parachute. So just in case we screw up, we need to come down. We have a parachute to launch off, which is great. Okay, next let's also add maybe some lights to this thing. Not a bad idea. Also maybe a ladder. Okay, let's take it off four now. Put a ladder there. Just to be fancy. Um, we, can, we can even put landing struts if we wanted to for afterwards, but no, we don't need it. It's not going to be landing on the moon. I'm not taking, not going to take us there. None of that kind of time. Um, where are lights? Where are lights, 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 lights? Are they in structural? No, they're not. What would they be under? Science? No. Yeah, they are in utility somewhere. Um, landing? No. Uh, oh yeah, these are also parachutes. They're, um, side parachutes. We don't need them, though. Um, Actually, you know what? Yeah, well, let's do that. Let's put some radial parachutes on. Set it back to four. And set one on each of these. So once these detach, they can parachute away. So. Basically, as these detach, they will then parachute off too. Which is good. Um, where are the lights? Solar array. That's pretty cool. We can set a solar array. So once we get up there, we can have like a space station getting power. Uh, then we should also make get rechargeable battery packs. Um, again, I'm just sort of throwing shit on now. I'm not even really paying attention to what's going on. But you get the gist of it, I hope. Um, but yeah, you can, you can spend a lot of time in this program. Like, I mean a lot building stuff. Because there's just so many possibilities. I'm getting annoyed because I can't find the lights now. Um, but here's all small propulsion, like there's these big things, um, and there's smaller like ones. There's all sizes, all different shapes and sizes. Um, where are the lights? I know lights exist because I've put them on before. But I can't remember where. I've had them now. He was probably all like yelling at me, they're right there. It's like... No, see, these are um, panels again. Uh... Oh, here we go, illuminators. Found them. I knew they were somewhere. So let's also put some lights on this bad boy. Oh, yeah. And maybe also some bigger lights down here. Okay. So now once we're ready, we can save it, which I'm not going to do, but I'm just going to hit launch. So let's let it load up. Did I hit launch? I did. Okay. It's just loading. One second. There we go. So now it's going to put um, put us on the launch pad for us. Thank you. So once we're on the launch pad now. We can just click for the lights and stuff. As you can see, they'll go on and off, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can have brakes and stuff, but we don't want that. So basically what we're going to do now is once, you, once it starts flashing green, you can press space. 
and it will activate. The first one, and then continue. So let's activate, and then shift to throttle up. Okay. Yeah. A lot of trial and error goes into this. <laughs> D. Okay. Yeah, let's um end flight. End flight. Let's do restart. So yeah, you um use control control and shift is to throttle things up and down, and then W S and D is to move it around. If you had um, then you can also set waypoints by pressing M takes you to the map, so you can also see what orbit you're in. So once you get high enough, it will like basically put a circle around it, which is pretty cool. But yeah, so let's go back to our spaceship now. I decided to deploy him because I didn't want him. So, as we're heading up now, as you can see, the, um, the liquid fuel here is going down. So we have the big tank, it's gonna, it has quite a bit of fuel. Um, so the more tanks you add, obviously the heavier it's going to be, which means the more propulsion you need, but also the more fuel you have. So a lot of it takes um, just effort and trial and error to figure out what's a good combination, what's not, and just many things like that. And then up here you see the atmosphere. Once we hit the black it means we're actually in the atmosphere, but not, uh, does it show us the blue thing yet? No, we're not high enough yet, clearly, okay. So as you can see I'm already running out of fuel quite a bit, which sucks. I'm just gonna kill it. Um, so now if, if you, uh, if you throttle it up too much you'll get the overheating, which can mean if it does hit uh, all the way it will actually explode your engines. So you have to be very careful about that also. Um, okay, so let's just say we're done with that. So now we can do that. And, oh shit, I had the parachute in here, which means it just flipped this over, sadly. Uh, I should probably put the parachute in a new one. But, yeah, you guys get the point of basically what you're supposed to be doing. Um, so let's just go back to the vehicle assembly building. So then you can launch your things, and there's a lot of trial and error. It just takes time to figure out what you want to build. And it's really sick. I personally like this program a lot. I try to use it when I'm bored and I have nothing to do and I just want to be creative. On, with Minecraft, on, Also with Minecraft's another great game. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is Kerbal Space Road. Again, the link will be in the description. So if you guys uh, enjoyed it, well, have a nice day.